Hey there, students. Um, on this clip, we're going to be going over three examples on how to use the discriminants to determine uh, the nature of the roots of uh, polynomial equations. Okay? So, we can write out the title, uh, the role of the discriminant. That's what we're going to be considering today. All right, uh, let's write down the instructions for the notes first, and then uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the examples. So, the instruction, instructions are as follows. Use, use the discriminant discriminant to describe the nature the nature of the roots the nature of the roots of the given polynomial equations, polynomial equations, okay? All right, so let's start out with number one. What if we had the polynomial equation 2x squared uh, minus 4x plus 2 equals 0? So we need to find A, B, and C and plug it into the um, Discriminant, the equation for the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, the radical component, uh, the radical of the quadratic formula. So first thing we must ask ourselves, is this equation in standard form? Is it equal to zero and everything arranged in descending order? It is, so it's in standard form. Okay, the standard form for quadratic equations, again, just to remind, remember, just as a reminder, is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Degrees in descending order, and all of them on one side of the equation will have it equal to zero, right? So that's the set up we have here. So we can now extract A as the first coefficient. B is the coefficient of x, which is negative 4. And C is the last, the constant, which is 2, okay? And this is A, B, and C. All right, now we're going to proceed to compute the value of the discriminant. Uh, which is b squared minus 4ac. So if I plug in these values into this expression, I'll have uh, negative 4 squared minus 4 times 2 times 2. Simplify using the order of operations. Let's do it was in parentheses first. Negative 4 squared is 16. Minus 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 minus 16 equals 0. So if the discriminant equals 0, if b squared minus 4 is equal 0, we have a um, double root. So we have, how do I say, since, since uh, the discriminant, discriminant uh, equals 0, we have a double root. Okay? Double root. Or you can say, or one real root. Okay, one real root. Okay? Alright. Now, um, also know that this real root is going to be, is going to be rational. It's going to be a rational root. Alright? Or real rational root in this, in this, in this particular case. Alright, so there's no square root symbol. Now, let's take a look at um, uh, number two. What if we had a quadratic equation of the form 2x squared minus 3x equals 3? Now, before we determine a, b, and c, we must place this in standard form. And we'll ask ourselves, is this in standard form? Absolutely not, because we have a constant on the right side. Remember, it has to be equal to 0 for the variables in descending order of power. All right, so to accomplish the standard form of this uh, equation, we'll just do a slight transformation. We'll subtract 3 from both sides, and that will give us 2x squared minus 3x minus 3 equals 0. All right? Now, we're going to plug it into the discriminant angle first in A, which is 2, B, which is negative 3, and C, which is also negative 3. All right, so let's compute the discriminant, which is B squared minus 4AC. Uh, so B squared is negative 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 3, which 
So reduce that using the order of operations, and I get 3 squared is 9, minus 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times negative 3 uh, is uh, negative 24, minus times the minus is a plus, so uh, this expression is going to be equal to 9 plus 24, which equals 33. Okay. Note, 33 is not a perfect square, alright, keep that in mind, 33 is not a perfect square, um, because there's no integer that you can square to get 33. Alright, so what is our conclusion here? Since the discriminant, so the discriminant is, uh, since it is greater than zero and not a perfect square, not a perfect square, Okay, um, we have, we will have, we'll have two, um, distinct, two distinct real roots that are, that are irrational, okay, that are irrational. The reason that they're irrational is basically, oh boy, let me stop. Uh, the reason that they're irrational is basically because we're going to be taking the square root of a number that's not a perfect square. So when you take the square root of 33, it cannot be broken down, it doesn't have a square root, right? It's, it's going to be a radical. Uh, so this is a rational number, all right? Because this rational, uh, is irrational, sorry. Because this irrational number, the final solution is going to be irrational, all right? So we have two, it's a real because it's bigger than zero, and since it's not a perfect square, that makes it irrational. If it were a number like, let's say, 49, it would be rational because when we take the square root of 49, we have seven. Okay? So there you have it. All right, let's try another example. Example three. Now, what if we had uh, the um, quadratic equation, 3x squared, uh, plus 2 equals 7x. Alright, so to find the discriminant, first thing we want to do is we want to um, find a, b, and c, so we can plug it into the equation of expression for the discriminant, but this equation must be in standard form first. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to subtract 7x from both sides. Alright, um, this has a, the degree of this is right after this, so we have to put it in the middle, so we have 3x squared minus 7x plus 2 equals 0. This formulation enables us to determine a, which is 3, b, which is negative 7, and c, which is 2. All right, now we're ready to plug it into the um, discriminant expression, which is b squared minus 4ac. So uh, b squared is going to be negative 7 squared minus 4, a is 3, and c is 2. All right, so when we work this out, we'll have 49 minus um, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times uh, 2 is 24. Okay, so 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24. So when we subtract it, we'll have our answer is going to be 25. Okay. So note that uh, 25 is a perfect square. So what's our solution going to be? Since um, the discriminant, <clears throat> since the discriminant, discriminant is greater than zero, than zero, or we can write since it's greater than zero, uh, we have, we have two distinct, two distinct real roots that are rational, okay? We're sure that they're rational because um, A, B, and C are all integers, and our discriminant is a perfect square, which has a square root that gives us an integer, so when we combine integers together, we're always guaranteed uh, to get a uh, a rational number. All right. So the uh, they have it. 
All right, so thanks so much for taking uh, the time to watch this video. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. You just click up here to subscribe, and all my videos can be found on myfreeserve.com. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day.